Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing recipes for you. We have breakfast, we have lunch, we have a dessert so if you're excited give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where I will link my recipe website at the very top. That is where you'll find today's recipes. Nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or if you want to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things and come join my Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let me flip you around and let's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm actually making an oven cheddar ham omelet. So this is going to be basically an omelet that we're making in the oven. So it's super, super easy, high protein breakfast. So let me show you what you'll need. The recipe actually calls for 16 eggs. I am going to do six eggs, and then I'm actually going to do 10 egg whites. That's going to cut down on calories as well as fat and really give us that big punch of protein. Light shredded cheese diced ham, green onions, and then any milk of your choice. So the omelet is super, super easy to put together. You're going to need a medium to large bowl. I'm actually going to add in my entire carton of egg whites, and then six full eggs. I'm going to give that just a quick whisk, just to kind of mix the eggs together, break up the yolks. And then I'm going to add in my entire pack of diced up ham. Two cups of light shredded cheese, which is this entire bag. It's actually even a little less than two cups in this bag, but we're gonna count it as two cups. Again, I'm going to give that just a quick mix to mix up the ham and the cheese. By the way, this little egg beater thing came from Timu. Best thing I ever bought. I wanna say it was like, $2 and it works so good to mix eggs. I went ahead and diced up that whole stem of green onions and then two cups of milk. And give that a really good mix. I think I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do Trader Joe's onion salt and pepper. The recipe doesn't call for any seasonings, but I love the onion salt in my eggs, and I always need a little bit of pepper. And then give it one more mix. I have my oven preheating to 350 and I'm going to spray a 9 by 13 baking dish with some non-stick cooking spray. And then go ahead and pour in the egg mixture. And we're putting this into a three, that 350 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. You want to make sure that the eggs are fully cooked through. So the oven baked ham and cheddar omelet is out of the oven. It looks amazing. I'm going to have this for breakfast this week, probably with either an English muffin fruit or both. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, serving size and macros here on the screen for you. So for lunch this week, I'm actually making a summer peach spinach salad with avocado, almonds, and feta. You can also substitute goat cheese. So let me show you what you'll need for the salad and then we're going to make a homemade healthy vinaigrette. So you're going to need spinach. You could really use any lettuce but I'm going to go, go with spinach. It just has a lot more vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. You're going to need sliced almonds or you could do almonds, slivered almonds, your preference. Again, feta or goat cheese. You're going to need a red onion, avocado, fresh peaches, and then I am going to top mine with protein, of course. I'm going to be using these Just Bare Chicken Breast Pieces. All you do is throw these in the air fryer or oven for 10 minutes and you have perfectly cooked chicken and that's going to be our protein on our salad. And then for the dressing, you'll need an oil of your choice. I have avocado oil, balsamic vinegar, 
Lakanto granulated. You'll want some type of sweetener. You could also use Lakanto sugar-free syrup. I will link Lakanto down below with 15% off. Minced garlic, salt and pepper, and as always, I'll link this as well. It's from Amazon. It's acacia wood and it's $10. It's an amazing holder for salt and pepper. We absolutely love it. And then some Dijon mustard. So the first thing we're going to do is make up our dressing. I like to make mine in a mason jar, pop a lid on it, put it in the fridge. It's a great way to store it and keep it nice and fresh. So first thing we're going to do is add three tablespoons of oil. Three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. About half of a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. A scoop of minced garlic. One to two teaspoons of Lakanto granulated, kind of to your taste. And then lastly, some salt and pepper. And then all I do is put the lid on and shake it up and you have a perfect homemade vinaigrette, healthy, you know exactly what's in there, no weird ingredients. I am going to go ahead and put this in the refrigerator. So the salad recipe makes four servings total. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a salad together because that is what I'm going to have for lunch today. I don't know if you can hear, but the chicken is going in the air fryer. So we're going to add in some spinach. About a cup, cup and a half, however much you want. I mean, spinach, the more the better, right? For all the vitamins and minerals. And then we're going to top it with about a tablespoon and a half of feta or goat cheese. I sliced up my red onions nice and thin, so go ahead and add some red onion. I have my peaches diced up, so I'm going to add about a quarter of the peaches. Half of a tiny avocado. The recipe calls for one large avocado. You would do a quarter of a large, or these are the really small ones, so you can do half. I would also recommend weighing out your avocado so you know exactly how many grams to track for avocado. So I ended up with 40 grams. I have one tablespoon of my sliced almonds. You can also toast the almonds if you would like. So here is the salad. So what I did is I added four ounces of the air fried chicken. It is zero points, it's just white meat chicken. And then I added one quarter of the vinaigrette that we made. And that is the peach summer salad. It's actually what I'm going to have for lunch today. So I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen all of the nutritional information points and if I thought the salad was good. For a snack this week, I'm making raspberry bars with an oatmeal crumble. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need rolled oats, brown sugar, alternative. As always, I'm using Lakanto Golden. It's my all-time favorite. Don't forget, I do have a 15% discount for Lakanto. I will link it down below for you. You'll need flour. I am going to sub the Kodiak protein flour. I say this every time I use this, that Kodiak actually discontinued this flour. So unfortunately, it's not available anymore, but you can make your own protein flour. So I will put the recipe in the description box for you with a link to my favorite unflavored protein that I make my flour with. You're going to need light butter, syrup of your choice, again I'm using Lakanto, salt, vanilla extract, almond extract, baking soda, a lemon or lemon juice, and then either fresh or frozen raspberries. So the first thing I'm going to put together is the base of our raspberry bars and the topping of our raspberry bars. So I have one and a half cups of my protein flour, one cup of rolled oats, one half of a cup of Lakanto Golden, pinch of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and then I'm going to zest in the lemon. Now we're going to add in our vanilla extract, almond extract, and eight tablespoons of light butter melted. Stir that together until you get a crumbly texture. So to make the raspberry filling, I added my two bags of frozen raspberries, one tablespoon of cornstarch, which I didn't show you in the beginning, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup, a pinch of salt, and then some lemon juice. So we're going to kind of smush the raspberries and allow this to cook down for about three to five minutes. We're basically making a raspberry jam type of consistency with our frozen raspberries. 
So I sprayed an eight by eight baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. I added about a cup and a half, cup and three quarters of the crumble mixture to the bottom. Press that into place. That is the crust of our bars. And then we're going to place the remaining crumble mixture into the refrigerator. So our raspberry sauce is done. We're going to add that right on top of the crust and just spread that out nice and even. And then I pulled my crumble out of the refrigerator and I'm just going to crumble it right on top. And then we're putting into a 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes until the filling's all bubbly and the top is brown. So I just pulled out the raspberry bars. These look so good. They smell amazing. You can see the layers of the crust, the raspberry, and the crumble topping. I will go ahead and put serving size, points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you are as excited about these three recipes as I am. Don't forget they are all on my website, which is at the very top of the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. Definitely come join us. We would love to have you. It's free. It's a supportive community. So come and join us. Thank you for watching. Happy Monday. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.